The Luxembourgish national team made headlines recently after their underdog win over the Republic of Ireland on Saturday night. But what happened can be described as a shock, as Ireland are still yet to win a match under coach Stephen Kenny, while the Luxembourgish football has been constantly improving in the background, in a big part thanks to the longevity provided by Luke Holtz, who will become the second longest serving national team manager in the continent, after Joachim Löw steps down from his role at Germany. Improvements by the Football Federation resulted in better academies, better coaches, which inevitably brought better players too. Jezo Rodriguez, the scorer of yesterday's decider, is definitely one of the gems, coming through the academies of Hesperange and Caillou Titonge. The Dynamo Kiev forward has played 177 minutes of UEFA Champions League football, with which he became the first from the country to appear in European football's biggest club competition since the new system's introduction in 1992. Ireland's only player who has been in UCL, meanwhile, wasn't selected into the senior team squad. It was Quivin Kelleher, the Liverpool keeper, who got to two full matches. In the Europa League, Matt Doherty was Ireland's only player whose club reached the round of 16. For Luxembourg, it was two. Christopher Martins, Young Boys and Rodriguez Dynamo Kiev. But having players in the MLS, the Eredivisie, the Belgian Pro League, the Ukrainian Premier League or the Greek Super League are also indications of the upgrade in the national team squad. When Luxembourg last played Ireland, we had two players in the Jupiler Pro League, while the rest of the squad either played in their home country or didn't even have a team. Now, 75% of our squad consists of foreigners. At club level, we can also see the difference. F91 Dudelange reached the group stages of the Europa League on back-to-back -back occasions in 2018-19 and 2019-20, thus matching the number Ireland's most successful team, Dundalk, got to. In summary, while we are, and always will be, minnows geographically, that won't necessarily be the case in footballing terms. So I encourage you to take notice, and maybe at one day we'll see a fairy tale similar to that of Iceland's.